plastic waste has been a cause for global concern for years now. Tons of non-biodegradable waste lying around. Land, oceans, rivers, drains, the story is pretty much the same for decades. Natural water streams have been getting clogged. Lakes have been turning into landfills. Coasts have been snatched off their natural beauty. Animals have been choking and dying, all thanks to plastic lying around, literally everywhere on our planet. Our next report takes a closer look at a solution that might just be round the corner. We start in the Netherlands. This is Water Shark, a sleek and smart solution to one of the world's biggest problems, plastic waste. Developed by a Dutch startup called Ruin Marine Technology, this aqua drone is one of many innovations sprouting up in recent years to address the problem of plastic waste in rivers and seas. So we wanted it to be as easy to deploy as possible, as easy to capture the trash and bring it back to land, make it safer so that the operator stood on the shore rather than was in the water, make it battery operated so it was zero emissions, not diesel or fossil fuel powered, and it was easy to store away. A lot of the time uh, our customers have bigger boats uh, that need a captain and lots of maintenance and, and a lot of mechanical uh, movement to make them work. We wanted something very sleek, very simple, gets the trash out and starts recycling faster than, than what has been done right now. The five-foot-long aquatic drone is capable of collecting and holding 160 litres of trash and floating plants. Moreover, once charged, it can work for eight hours straight. Other unique solutions include the Great Bubble Barrier System deployed on various rivers and canals in the Netherlands. Now it's a simple system. Compressed air is pumped into a submerged tube with holes in it. All one can see, however, are thousands of tiny bubbles on the surface of the water. These bubbles stir the waste in the water and then into one collection point. Across the Atlantic giant, trash wheels have been set up at the mouths of four Baltimore watersheds in Maryland. The devices combine ancient and modern technology to run rakes and a conveyor belt that moves floating trash into barge-mounted dumpsters. The whole system runs on eco-friendly, zero emissions electricity generated by the water current itself or the sun. In India, steel mesh fences that extend above and below aluminium floats have been installed. The system is inexpensive easy to maintain and able to withstand monsoons. They're angled to guide trash to a riverbank where excavators pile it into dump trucks. Eight such traps were installed on the Kuom River in Chennai. The system corralled about 2,400 tons of plastic and around 22,000 tons of other trash in its very first year back in the year 2018. In total, devices like these are fledging attempts to dent an estimated 8.8 .8 million tons of plastic that enter the ocean every year. Once there, the waste that kills marine plants and animals, including whales, dolphins and seabirds, and accumulates in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and other vast swirls of currents. The most important thing with marine debris or plastic or trash in our ocean is we don't want it there in the first place. So while all of these devices are incredibly helpful, we really need to work on the upstream solutions of generating less waste from the consumer standpoint, but also the industry standpoint. And so there's a lot of different players that are going to help solve this problem overall. Innovative initiatives like these are coming up from all around the world. It reflects growing concern for environment resonating in all sections of the global village. We will report Beyond World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.